Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. We have some pretty frightening news to bring to you coming from UConn, where one of the star women basketball players has been stalked and harassed, and her stalker has now been arrested. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm going to do a little bit of reading so I don't miss anything. So, But as you can see on the screen, screen here. The title is Man Accused of Stalking Yukon Star Paige Bukers Found with an Engagement Ring Near Bradley Airport. So I'm going to get into a little bit of what this article says as well as what the ESPN article says. It states that the 40-year-old Oregon man is being held on a $100,000 bond after being arrested by Yukon police Friday, September 13th. He is being charged with breach of peace, electronic stalking, and harassment. Also, according to the article, this individual has been on the radar since June after he sent emails that police described as rambling, stating that he was a member of the royal family and wanted to marry a member of the women's basketball team. It also stated that on his social media, there were several posts um, containing Buker's name, which included a, pay, a post of a fake wedding invitation and a picture of him with a diamond ring. The article goes on to state that this individual also made posts that could be considered threatening to family and friends of Buker's, alluding to unaliving himself if he can't be with the woman of his choosing, referring to Buker's, and that he would take out all of those that opposed to this um, to take them to H-E-double-L, yeah. Um, UConn police reported that the man started sending videos to Bukers as far back as February of this year and that she said she never responded and that she also expressed to police that she was afraid for her safety, her family's safety, and her teammate's safety. They also said the man emailed officials at USC, LSU, and a sports agent. His next court date appearance is going to be October 22nd. Now, Paige is going into her senior year, although she officially graduated over the summer, as we all can remember seeing her uh, bust her move as she walked across the stage to get her degree. Um, and she averages 21.9 points per game, 5.2 rebounds, and has a 53% field goal percentage. The Huskies have their season opener on November 17th against Boston University. So a little talk about this. Um, I do hope that he gets the help that he needs because it appears to me that this could be some type of a mental health issue. I know he is in jail right now. I'm assuming he has not yet made bond, but I can only imagine how frightening this was for Paige, her family, her friends, you know, people that love her because, you know, these things can go left really quickly. And he's been harassing her since February. That has been nearing a year now. Like that's what, nine months? Uh, so I'm really happy for Paige's safety that nothing did happen to her, but it sounds like this was elevating really quickly for him to come to, you know, Connecticut, uh, you know, sending her the type of messages and, you know, alluding to them being married or, you know, it's it's just really frightening when you are a athlete and entertainer, a social media influencer. We hear these stories all the time about stalkers and people harassing them. So super happy for Paige. I mean, she has the most lovable personality. If you go on her TikTok page, you're going to just kind of get stuck there because she is such an entertaining person. <laughs> she takes everything so lightly and, uh, you know, nothing better than seeing a person trying to dance that can't really dance. <laughs> I love it, though. I love seeing Paige, you know, take things, um, you know, not so seriously and just having fun with her life. So. Uh, again, I'm really happy for Paige that, you know, hopefully this thing is being taken care of and that, you know, this man will um, you know, not have any contact with her. It did state that she has a no contact in place, so he is not allowed to contact her or come, you know, within her um, area. 
So I'm really hoping, you know, that this all turns out for the best, that he goes his way and she can go her way and that he does not fixate on another athlete or another person because that just, it's terrifying. So again, hopefully this, this is behind them. She can get on with her season and not have those things to worry about. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this story with um, the Oregon man, I think, yeah, 40 years old, harassing Paige. So let me know what you think, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will talk to you later. Goodbye. Now, Paige, be careful when you're singing those rap songs. It could get you in trouble. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.